10 ways to use offers, coupons, discounts, and deals to generate more sales. In every business, we come to the point where we have to look at coupons, discounts, offers, deals. But in this video, let's just stick, let's just call them all offers. Okay. They're all really pretty much offers. Uh, and you've got to decide when to do them and how much to do them. And that's what I'm going to talk to you about in this video. You'll know everything you need to know to generate more sales by the end of this video. Don't forget if you haven't subscribed already, hit that subscribe button below. Don't forget, ring the bell, turn on all bell notifications. So you're notified each and every time I go live or I upload a video that way you won't miss anything give me a thumbs up if you would smash that like button down there I would really appreciate it. all right let's jump into this now and let's see how we can use these things to increase your sales okay doing these things can be a really strong tool to build your customer loyalty and your base of customers so by doing these things they're gonna make people feel better about your company but there are pros and cons to all of these things. And what I want to do is go through all the pros and cons. So you understand each and every one. Now for the sake of ease, I'm going to talk about Shopify, uh, in Shopify, these things are really easy to implement. Uh, and they're also very easy to track because the way Shopify is set up, if you're not using Shopify, I'm sure whatever platform you're on probably has some similar tools that you can use, but we'll just, for the simplicity of this, we'll just say Shopify. Now, what else do they do? They increase loyalty. Uh, which is really good, right? People feel more loyal to you when you do these things. Um, they also help you with uh, acquisition of more customers. When they see these discounts out there, these special things you're doing or coupons that helps you acquire more customers. In addition to that, they really increase conversions. When people see that there's something special going on, they're more likely to buy from you. In addition to that, maybe you have some inventory you want to move. They help you move out that older inventory and get rid of it. And let's not forget the big one. They just increase your sales. Okay. So you end up getting more sales by doing these things, but there are cons too. So let's discuss those real quick. So what are some of the downside, I guess, profits, you know, when you do a deal, you're actually giving up profit. You're giving up money. Okay. Uh, the next thing I would say is if you've got a really stable, well thought out brand and you've never done sales before it may hurt your brand a little bit uh, by doing these types of discounts or deals or coupons and the next thing is it could hurt your sales when you're not doing them once you train your audience that you're going to have a sale or you're going to have a coupon or whatever and i've, I've experienced this where i've got emails back and people say well once it goes on sale for 50 percent off i'm going to buy it uh, which it never does but i'm just saying people get in their minds that you're going to just keep discounting and discounting and discounting the other thing they can do is they can um, attract people who are just price people okay all they worry about is price they don't worry about quality they don't worry about brand um, in addition to that it can lower your overall sales ticket because people can get more for less money so that can actually happen to you uh, and you could attract some of the wrong people to your brand too and on your list because a lot of those people are all about price and when they see a deal they buy it even if it's not a product they're normally interested in which means they may just unsubscribe one down the road so let's get into the different types of discounts and offers and coupons you can do so you can see how to utilize them on your site now you can do weekly or monthly discounts so that each week there's a special deal that comes out maybe it's you know taco tuesday at your restaurant or whatever it may be uh, and then there's monthly deals maybe at the end of the month people know there's going to be a good deal but you want to be cautious about doing this on a regular basis because people will start waiting for those deals so you got to use that one very carefully the next one i really like is a pre-launch offer where you have a new product or a new service coming out and if people get in on that in the beginning they receive some type of discount on it now let me show you an example right here this is the jewelry wardrobe and they're using this approach with success they're offering a free 25 dollars gift card in exchange for customers email address and time to fill out a brief survey they kicked this initiative off by manually reaching out to potential respondents on linkedin and they did really well the next thing you can do number three is seasonal and holiday deals uh, people have come to expect those so you'll fit right in the fold and they do tend to convert very well number four i like a lot it's called abandoned cart offers uh, we use this a lot in kartra and if you don't have a good marketing software i highly recommend kartra uh, there will be a link in the description below it does everything for you it automates all this stuff and what kartra does for us is if somebody leaves 
the cart let's say they've clicked on a product and they've gone to the cart but they didn't buy it fires off an email it says hey you know john smith you didn't buy or mary you didn't buy uh, go back and fill it out now uh, and then you can also use a discount too on top of that you can say if you go ahead and buy now i'm going to offer you free shipping or whatever you want to do um, i think initially the first email we just want to remind them why give up profit right because maybe they just got interrupted and they couldn't complete the sale so i would do that first before you offer an additional discount number five is an email subscription offer so if you subscribe to our email list we'll give you 10 percent off on your first purchase or 20 percent off whatever it is so we're offering them a discount and in return they give up their email to get that discount number six is an incentive for subscribing or liking or following your company if you're trying to build your social media that's a great way to go about it it can be something as simple as a coupon for five or ten dollars off a particular purchase of fifty dollars or a hundred dollars whatever you want to select all they have to do is subscribe or like or join your email list number seven which is a very popular one is a first time offer in other words the first time they purchase from you you can give them a discount so if they're a first time buyer you're going to give them 15 percent off or 20 percent off this really helps you build your list and this kind of pushes the people who are cold traffic over the edge they're like well i might as well buy something because i can get a discount right now and i'm a new customer number eight is a minimum purchase discount now we just ran one on some of our canned foods that we do and they got a discount if they bought one case of meat they got a bigger discount if they bought five cases of meat and they got an even bigger discount if they bought 10 cases of meat so what it really does is it encourages them to spend more money and that's the thing i think a lot of people on e-commerce don't understand is that they offer a product and they think well gee i want them to buy five of these but they don't offer five of those okay do you have a product that will lend itself to this and if it's something where they're only going to use it for themselves and they can only use one of them maybe they could buy some for their friends and family maybe they could give them away as gifts you have to offer these suggestions to people because they won't think of it on their own number nine is exit intent offer exit intent offers i love uh, and i will tell you i just ran the promotion i told you about on our canned meats and i would say a good 30 to 40 percent of the people got that discount so what is that discount basically an exit intent offer is when somebody takes their mouse and they go up to close that window and as soon as they do there's a pop-up it says wait don't don't leave now use this code right now to save an additional 10 percent off your purchase and i'll tell you so many people i guess we're in the, the process of closing that web page and that pop-up came up because i saw that coupon code used over and over and over again and basically what you're doing is you're saving a sale because they're leaving your site anyhow and if they're leaving your site you might as well get some profit as opposed to getting all your profit right you want to get a little bit as long as you can make some profit it's worth it and you've added a customer to your list and number 10 I like this one too this is retargeting offer okay so this is a retargeting offer so let's say somebody comes to our site and they're looking at our survival foods and they don't purchase um, we can retarget that person through google by putting in there anybody who has visited this page okay and we put that url in there and we can put ads in front of them about our company now they are going to be going to page after page after page seeing our ads everywhere and they're going to think we're advertising everywhere but we're not we're advertising to them because we're retargeting them so if this has ever happened to you where you've looked at a product and you keep seeing that product pop up in all these different places that's retargeting and that's what that company is doing and understand this is very economical to do because on retargeting ads google will show your ads to these people but they won't charge you unless they click and if they only charge you when they click you can have your ads everywhere the people that are clicking are serious so that's a really good customer so there you have it you've got 10 ways to do these offers and discounts and all these cool things you can do you can build your list you can increase your sales you can increase your book of business just by putting forth just a little bit of effort now i'd like to see how these are working out for you so if you've tried any of these put your comments below if you're going to try some of these let me know how you're going to go about it i love to hear people's successes in the comments below too i have a lot of people ask me questions they need help and that's fine you're welcome to do that but when you put something down there and it shows people you were successful they're going to love it they're going to get more motivated by your success and that's what we want to do is help more and more people on this channel this channel is all about helping you start run and grow your online business that's what we're here to do thank you so much for watching this video i really appreciate it do me a favor give me a thumbs up that's super important we also need you to what subscribe if you look down there now seriously if you look down there now and that button is red 
it's telling you something that subscribe button saying punch me hit me and when you do it will turn gray and when it turns gray you're subscribed yay not exactly you need to turn on all bell notifications too you need to ring the bell turn on better you need to turn on all bell notifications so you're notified each and every time i go live or i upload a video like the one you're watching right now i also have a free course you can get 97 dollars course it's in the description below if you click on that you can click and learn no credit card required thank you so much for watching this video i really appreciate it and i'll see you in the next video hey thanks for watching my video don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click that little bell right there so you can be notified every time i do a new video also click on one of those videos there keep watching on my channel